Hey, good morning. That's right. We're standing about 50 yards in front of the rented truck that police say was used to deliberately plow down people on a busy bicycle path yesterday afternoon. Now, this crime scene, it's still very active. In fact, moments ago, we saw investigators in white suits, a forensic team, arrive on the scene to collect evidence. The governor told us this morning that they believe the suspect acted alone. There's no evidence to suggest this attack was part of some wider plot. Jeff Glor is here with new information this morning on this story. Jeff, good morning. Laura, good morning to you. According to our source, uh, Saipov was very pleased with the outcome of the attack. He said he wanted to keep driving down that bike path and didn't mean to run into the school bus. Investigators also found knives inside the truck that caused so much devastation. I need multiple buses to watch the west side highway, multiple down. The chaos and damage stretched for about 14 blocks down a bike path in lower Manhattan. We were really, really terrified and shocked of what had happened and what we were watching at the moment. There was one female that I saw near the body. She must have seen it actually happen because she just kept screaming and it was. Uh, Here. Emergency responders quickly swarm the scene, loading the injured onto stretchers. One man on the floor with EMS trying to help him, and then two other people who are covered with sheets who appear to have bikes next to them that look like they were run over. The suspect apparently drove onto a path on the west side of Manhattan and traveled around eight tenths of a mile, striking bikers and pedestrians before crashing into a school bus. He left the rental truck and ran through traffic armed with two weapons that police say were a pellet gun and a paintball gun. One perp in custody at this time. NYPD officer Ryan Nash was one of the first on the scene. He fired on the suspect, hitting him in the abdomen and ending the attack. The suspect was arrested and taken to a hospital. More details are emerging on the nationwide investigation. In Florida, FBI agents visited an apartment complex in Tampa that was listed as the suspect's last known address. In New Jersey, a bomb squad searched the suspect's personal vehicle at a Home Depot in Passaic, where he allegedly rented the truck before the attack. In Patterson, police searched an address where the suspect is believed to have been recently living. He lives here for three months. And obviously, like, you have asked a lot of people here, no one knows him, like, no one recognizes his face. The accused worked as a driver for Uber. He did pass the company's background check and drove for the service for about six months. The company says it is in touch with the FBI and nor it is offering its assistance. All right, Jeff, thank you so much.